Alright. Are we starting a new recording? Yeah, go. Cool. We're live. Right. So, I, I choose not to build a teleporter entrance because when I do that, either I will come to mid with 75 metal, or I resupply, and that separates me from the disciplinary action. So on this mid, I did something very risky by going through tunnel. Um, there's two risks there. One is a soldier might be on like that roof thingy or inside tunnel. And also you, the snipers usually roll out on a cliff and that can snipe you. But our team was getting aggressive and in a previous scrim that worked well for me. So I, th I think it's a good mini spot if you can get there for the mid fight. And in that particular mid fight it paid off. Here we're forward holding, what do you usually do? Um, since our combo plays on um, cliff, uh, most teams like to push their combo on the opposite, or good teams at least, will push their combo the opposite side. And so I like to, what I've been trying and it's worked well is to wrangle on this side. Um, I used to try to go to that tele exit platform thingy, yeah. the bridge above main. But um, that actually usually gets me killed because, like, it's deceptive about how much danger you're in because you might think, oh, I just dropped down, but then they just run, a, a scout runs underneath the main and kills you. Did you go back there to try to kill this soldier? I, I actually saw the sniper when I went into tunnel, and I thought he would hard scope the opposite end because that's where I would reasonably go. So I ran the other way and he still got me. So here, um, Axio killed the spy and I ran over to pick up its metal to check if it was really dead or not. Actually, I think I shot my shotgun and reloaded so I can check if I got ammo from it. And that mini spot is one that you'll see a whole lot by good engineers because Basically, the demo will usually play on um, the side the of the rock. Well, the side of the rock that's opposite of that side. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, when he's over there, the demo cannot see the sentry. Now, if you put it there every single time, he might slowly catch on, so you might need to add some variance. But during that downtime, you just went to put a tele on cliff? Uh, yeah. Um, when I have a teleporter entrance built, um, during whatever downtime I can, I like to at least try to build an entrance. If I don't have a uh, tele entrance up, I don't bother with the exit. Oh, because I saw the sniper, I got aggressive. And there, saw a tele and. This was mostly just luck. Usually when you get behind them like that, you'll die. They just happen to be looking the wrong way. Like in an earlier scrim, I had many times where I was too far aggressive like, like I am now. And like something came in from behind me and killed me. Yeah. Like once you're in that sort of lower area, that's like you can get flanked from three ways. If you're in front of the rock. They might have been down numbers and I had checked, but either way it's risky and you gotta... We had just Uber, so I think they were. So right there there's a soldier. Uh, actually, Banny, I think Banny and D he gets deal with it, but the soldier in tunnel is something that I need to work on dealing with, because it's really annoying when he's like, there's really no way to kill him, because he, he backs in the tunnel, and you can't really chase him. I don't know. Maybe have your team help with him. So most likely I won't play the same aggressiveness, unless... I don't know. I might. Okay, so right there, when you walk out to build that mini, you can't actually get sniped. Uh, so you want to like back out of that spot as soon as you can because the sniper will be on cliff sniping whoever's in his sight line. Really Unless... I think I was like feeling confident this scrim. 
If I'm not, it, like, if I'm getting killed a lot, I'll play more passively. I think that time I just had metal, and I figured I had I had a dispenser and a mini sentry up, and since I had extra metal to spare, I just built the telly. I when I'm building that telly, I usually check if the sniper's alive, because. If the sniper is alive and on cliff, he will frequently snipe me when I'm doing the jump to get on the bridge above main. All oh, this fight. You win it? No. Well, actually, it was kind of interesting because I did. I was at 49 health, and at the range that he was at, the revolver um, it would do less than 49. But if I got close to him. The revolver would do 49 and so like I wanted to kind of stay at a long range so that he won't kill me in one shot and hope and I was hoping the med pack would respawn yeah. he ended up getting two shots on me I could have gotten closer and banked on him not being able to hit a single shot I think it was just an ambi I'm not Sure thing. Even with Ambi, it can do 50. Oh, really? I, I think. Yeah. So, um, as soon as I saw that soldier, my sole intention was to surf away from there. Yeah, you, you wouldn't have been able to really fight him there. Like, I think you really need to, like, focus on trying to uh, surf. Because I think if you try to, uh, if you try to just DM him, you won't think about surfing. So that spot I was wrangling from, it's a pretty annoying spot. Um, it's also a very safe spot, unless the sniper's on cliff. Could have maybe pushed that sword to get milk on him. Uh, no. Uh, uh... Basically, the most damage I could have done is maybe 30. And that would have healed me like 15. Like from that range. From the range of like one side of the tunnel to the other. I'm not gonna do more than 40 max. Probably 30. And that'll heal me like 18 health. So that will get me like to half health, and I'm still gonna die to one rocket on the ground. So there so I good. I think we played a. I think I played that bad because. Um, I don't think the demo should have gotten that aggressive on us. I think I should have like put a mini on the concrete, the elevated concrete. Yeah, it's and then like we're all just holding behind the rock, not no one pressuring forward. I think maybe our whole team was bad health. Yeah. So one thing I actually wonder is just, like. Can our team, when I'm wrangling from that spot, like most of the time I'm attracting a lot of attention. And I don't think our team really plays off it that much. No. But when you do wrangle from that spot, you should look at Cliff to see if the sniper's watching you. Usually the sniper drops down when the team pushes, and uh, he can't see you when he drops down from Cliff. It's like you're focusing a lot on playing the right side of the point more than anywhere else. Uh, well, the simple reason is because I like to play away from where the demo's playing. Um, like I don't, unless you're wrangling, the demo is gonna very easily take out your sentry. Uh, and there, I got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, I mean, there's basically two options. You can either Build your sentry, leave it unwrangled and like shotgun DM, or you can wrangle your sentry. You should always be doing one of those two things. And um, if the uh, your mini sentry placement, if you're not going to wrangle, should be somewhere where the demo's hopefully not going to take it down. I 
And so if I were to play on the other side, like on the side left of Rock, um, the demo's gonna take it down immediately. So I either need to be wrangling, which I really don't want to do, or, um, I don't know, I either need to wrangle or my mini sentry is going to do nothing. So I think my skills are best optimized by uh, playing where the demo isn't. Now that last fight, um, I didn't realize how far back my team was playing. Um, I think Sam had died, so we backed up. Yeah, they, they pushed from the uh, right side of Rock, our right. And I didn't realize. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was a problem with pressing tab. I think our team was just backing down. The only thing I know, kind of noticed there was that you you could see the sniper in China, but like you just kept pressing forward. Is that because you think like you know that an NG pig is like much less important than anyone else who was speaking? I actually don't notice snipers really? at China very much. I, I probably do a I don't. Like, I don't get sniped from there very often, and so I don't really check there very often. Nice. <laughs> there, that was just a lucky opportunity that I capitalized on. Yeah, our team pushed forward and they were all looking to the right, so you had an easy flank. There was actually, um, like one thing I did there was, I noticed he didn't see me, so rather than shooting him, I reloaded so that I had enough shots to kill him. So because my telly, I don't have a telly deal, I, like, I build an entrance at spawn and then I build the exit at cliff. And the reason I build it at cliff is um, a lot more classes can use it when it's there. Um, lots of times people uh, build them on like the right side, which that really limits it to just being used by the flank. Yeah. And flank classes already are fast and don't really need the telly as much. They're also not as important. Sorry, I'm just desperately waiting for my metal to come back so I can build another mini. <laughs> like, I don't really think me dying there was that bad. Because, um, I mean, because we don't have the point, I respawn quickly. And... When I respawn, I'm right at my entrance with full metal, and I usually take that opportunity to uh, to just upgrade my telly. Now in that situation, I was hoping that Metal we would kind of back out away from the Uber Scout in hopes that I can kind of protect him, but Metal we died. I think they would just try to sack into the team to kill the medic. Well, I think you were too close because you got. No, no, I mean by... after I died. Yeah. Oh. I just so... like everybody went forward and you died. Then. Actually, never mind. One thing I sometimes do is um, I pre-build my sentry, and then I move it to China and wrangle it from there. Basically, uh, mini sentry builds like five times faster when it's already been built. And so if you're moving it to an aggressive location like China, it's better to pre-build. And here there's just not much we can do. Yeah, five right seconds now. left here. And that pipe. <laughs> Pretty good pipe angle. Oh, you're building a tilly here. Oh no, no, no. I think I was. I forgot. Like most maps, I build an entrance, but on this one, I don't. It's 
seems like no one contested you at all on the on the tunnel. I'm actually. There. Um, one thing I noticed is I saw I saw the soldier bomb like on point, yeah. and so I knew the soldier wasn't tunnel. I'm not sure if I actually took that into account when I ran tunnel, but if I did, that would be a good choice. <laughs> Yeah, because it seems like no one from the team, at least on mid, were playing on that side. So gonna take advantage of that. That sentry spot on Cliff, um, it's a pretty good spot because of how hard it is to kill. I think it lacks some point coverage. Yeah, if it's, they hug um, the, the water wooden panel, it doesn't shoot them, I think. Yeah, if they're near the uh, the area where the metal pack is, it doesn't yeah, shoot them. Okay. Like right now, there's lots of people capping and it's not shooting anything. So did you put it there because like you knew they were going to be pushing soon, or just because you went back with the metal? And I think I just there? happened to be in that area. Yeah. But uh, the only times that I intentionally put it there is when I know, like, the combo is um, playing on the right side, or at least, or the side opposite of Cliff, if you're on the blue team. I think in a previous scrim, there were like K and D likes to push uh, from uh, stairs or non-Cliff side, whatever you call it. Like they push from around the tunnel side, yeah. and so. What I did in that scrim was I frequently built my mini on the cliff. Oh, there, that's where you dropped. Yeah, you didn't call but it. I, but when the combo's tunnel side, uh, a mini sentry on the cliff works really well because you can wrangle at them. And it's really not worth the demo's time to, or it, it's really not worth the demo's time to spam your mini, your wrangled mini. No, it takes four stickies to kill a wrangled mini. You are dead, I think. And uh, basically, like back, to, like if the combo is pushing tunnel, if you just do what you know, what most NGs do, and just and what you you do most of the time, and play right, the demo's just gonna spam you out. Yeah. So, I think it's a very good play when they're on uh, cliff or when they're on tunnel side. Probably a too aggressive there. Should have focused on the mid fight. I don't know. If he had a few, another record loader, I think he would have killed you. But I guess he pushed because you know he didn't. Yeah, I was monitoring how many rockets he had. So there is what to do when fighting soldiers. So I think here, like, I kind of want to build a um, an exit because I have an entrance. Wait, do I have an entrance? Yeah, you do. I don't remember dying. It says you do on my screen. Yeah, but I don't know when I would build it. I, I guess I do, because I built the exit. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. No, wait, that's all back. I don't know. So here I'm very disappointed I don't have a main. And I'm probably gonna run to the. Uh, actually, I didn't. But I generally don't like fighting without a mini up. And if I don't have the metal for one, usually I go get some metal. Yeah, it seems like during that downtime, you could have probably gone to the metal and come back for the after, like the after river fight. Well, actually, looking back at it, I don't really think I, that was a bad play there overall because we ended up kind of wiping anyways and I think I'd rather go down fighting and glory than uh, I'd rather do what I did than go back for metal have our team die and then run back alone and build a mini so in situations like this um, where I've got less than 100 metal and I've got less than full health, or less than half health. 
It's always it's always a good time to go back for metal because you need both. I think for most classes it might be a bad idea to get out of the fight. But I think for Engineer, since he needs both metal and health, he might as well just stay alive. Yeah, here, here we're just thrilling with cap time, so you're playing I on bow that... instead of backing up. Oh, did we need cap time? Yeah. yeah. I think that was, like, look, looking at that, I think that was a bad death, because I think... I think I had the opportunity to back out. No, I think and... it was fine, because we did need to have just people on point, like, fighting them. Well, I think we would have capped had I backed out earlier. Well, basically the reason is, it's it's really bad to die when... Yeah, when we're about you, to cap the point. Y yeah, when you're about to cap the point, because that means you're going to get the longer respawn. Yeah. So here is an, adva an example of why it's sometimes bad to wrangle. Um, basically... My mini sentry basically did zero damage that entire exchange. And, um, because, well, once I saw an opportunity to shotgun people, I think I had higher damage output by shotgunning. But had I not wrangled, it would have done more damage. But during goobers, usually they attack your sentry. So you might as well wrangle just to get the shield up so that it takes more time. Yep. Thanks for uh, doing the demo review. Have any anything you wanna add? Um well uh basically you if you well at that time I wasn't really dying, but if I was dying more, I would play behind rock a lot more and just uh build minis in the good spot. Oh yeah, always build minis like uh, in a spot where the demo can't see them, which is, and Viaduct is usually that spot, but sometimes you want to vary it up, but I think some engineers don't build it there enough. Yeah, a lot of engineers kind of build it somewhere near the ramps, like somewhere near the lower area. I think that was something else I wanted to say. Alright. I think just match your aggression to how much you can get away with. That scrim, I was getting away with a lot. Sometimes I don't, and I get sniped every time I peek, so I just stay behind rock. And that's it.